Okay, so this week we will be continuing what we were doing last week, which is building a bot. Hopefully that will be interesting. Um, okay, so I'm going to share my screen. There you go. You guys should be able to see it. Okay, perfect. So uh, I needed a little bit of a refresher on last week. So what I did was I actually, uh, I got the, the YouTube video. I put the link in here, this Summarize Tech website. Um, it's not affiliated with BotPress at all. I, I don't know who built this, but uh, it's very useful. Uh, I, I think there's a whole bunch of services that do this. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to read that real quick because I think it's super useful to remember. Uh, the creator, which is me, discusses their project of building a spaced repetition study bot. They introduce the concept of spaced repetition and how it can be used for learning and memorization. They explain their plan to make the process more engaging by adjusting the questions and providing different choices or sentences. The creator demonstrates, me again, the implementation of features like the hide until functionality and importing words. They also address and resolve various coding issues and bugs along the way. The video ends with the speaker evaluating their progress and asking for feedback or suggestions, uh, sorry, and suggestions from viewers. Overall, the goal of the project is to develop a bot that can assist in language learning and memorization. All right, this is so helpful. Now I know what I'm going to do today. Joking, <laughs> I did have a look before. Um, so I'm going to open the bot here and I'm just going to say hello. I'm going to restart. Okay, the conversation is restarted. I'm just going to say hello again or hi, whatever, just to see what we had. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger like that. Um, and it says, uh, hi, there are five concepts due right now. Uh, then it's sending us this payload of something. Uh, I don't remember what that was. Oh, that's probably from the table that we have here. Uh, and, oops. And then we have this whole bunch of text here, uh, which I think was what I was just showing something, the brainstorming of it. And uh, then we have a question here, which is what is the Spanish word for white? Uh, and four answers of which one is correct. Uh, the three other, the three other are incorrect. Um, okay, so we have that. Let's have a quick look at the flow. So it's right here in quiz single concept like this. Hey guys, you know what? I'm going to try to do something here. I think I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. Is this better? Just increased. Okay, I see a thumbs up. I don't know if that was directed at me. Uh, I'll try to like keep it at 125 for the moment. I think it'll be better for the stream. Uh, and yeah, I think like this, we're good. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to hide this because it's not really pertinent to what we're going to do next. Um, where was it? Workflow.brainstorming. Uh, sometimes, you know, when I want to like hide something and bring it back, uh, I'm just going to create a standard node like this. And I'm just going to give it a name, like, I don't know, uh, hidden or something. Um, and I, I just drag it like this uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to delete it and I have to rewrite it. So I just move them here. Uh, it, if it's unconnected, it really doesn't do anything, um, which is which is what I want. Um, then here we have this right here. I think it's workflow.concept. So I'm going to do that as well. Uh, I'm going to hit new conversation, try it again. Let's see if that cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, yes, it did. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, so now what, what I can see is missing is if I am to click anything here, like Rojo, ro, Royo, ro, Rojo, <laughs> if I click this, um, nothing happens. Okay, so I think that's where we were. We were up to like processing it. I also don't think we have our algorithm yet uh, so we'll have to come up with that um, okay so we have our single choice here and we have where are the choices right here so the items are like this but because they're like this we cannot show the transitions because it's dynamic so how do we handle that um, we can store the result in a variable which is what I'm going to do 
Uh, did I have this already? Yes or no? Did we have the answer? Okay, so brainstorming, this was just for the, uh, to improve the quality. Uh, the concept is the thing we're studying. The correct answer is uh, what was generated from the AI task. And we have three associated incorrect answers. Uh, this is just randomizing the order of the questions and the question is here. Okay, so we don't have anything uh, which is, uh, how would we call this? Uh, the user answer, user response, user answer. It's an answer, let's write answer like this. I'm going to press enter to create it. Uh, always when you can just create them here. I probably mentioned this last time, but uh, it's okay to be a bit repetitive. Um, okay, so now I have this story here and we will want to have some logic to determine whether this user answer is the correct answer. So I'm going to, I'm going to add a card like this. Is this too big? This is a bit too big, right? Okay. And I'm going to use execute code. Okay, so yeah, I have to talk about this, right? So I could just have an expression like this here. Uh, and I could probably say like, if the user answer is the correct answer. Do I want to do that? Uh, is there any problem with doing this? I think we should be good with this because the alternative is if we were to use execute code, I would try to see if the two are, are similar, but in actual, mm, let's see. No, because they're, they're hitting buttons uh, and the buttons are exactly the correct answer and the incorrect answers. Uh, so in that case, no, we're good to go with this. I think uh, unless the user types something, uh, it will it will be exactly the same string. Okay, so backtracking, no need for execute code. Um, we now have a transition and let's handle that. So if it's correct, um, oh, okay, I see what I did here before. I had a handle outcome. Okay, we can do organize it like that. So, uh, oh, there is a slight bug, I believe. I don't know if it's been fixed, but okay, I see it. Um, so if you create a new workflow like this, yes. Okay. So we don't have a transition here, but if you create a standard node and just delete it, it's just because we're in the process of having transitions like this for every node, uh, that is created. Uh, and I think for workflows, we just, uh, we haven't added it yet. So I, I'm just going to redo the same thing here. So I'm going to delete that, go back because I like the new way a lot more. Uh, so I created this. I'm going to move everything here, hopefully in the right order. Um, and I'm going to push this in handle outcome. Now I'm going to delete this, move this quiz uh, user. Okay, so I'm going to hook it up like this. And now I can just hook it up like this. And it's much cleaner. So I don't need to have like an always transition or anything. Uh, and this I can move it to another one. Okay, so now I have this transition here, and now let's create a standard nodes for handling that. And this is handle positive uh, or handle negative. Okay, I'm gonna pause here because my gut check is telling me I might be doing something uh, over-engineered here. Uh, it's possible by the way, I just did shift, shift clicking allows you to select multiple uh, nodes at the same time and move them around. Uh, my gut check is telling me I might not have to split them. Uh, there might be a formula that we can use uh, to process this uh, directly. Uh, and so let's try to figure that out. Okay, so I'm going to create a new standard node here. Uh, and I'm going to add a card, execute code. And I'm going to try to generate this via code. So what I want to generate here is uh, depending on whether the user answered it correctly or incorrectly, uh, can we uh, 
can we establish which time that we have to put in the table? So as a reminder, if we go back to concepts table, we have this hide until property. Uh, we might need more things, I forgot, uh, but for the moment we just have this. So I'm going to go back to quiz concept and I'm just going to actually, uh, do I want to do that? I could open something and just platform. Okay. I'm going to do this instead. Uh, I'm going to say generate a JavaScript. Uh, so I use this because I can access GPT-4, but generate a JavaScript uh, function that does spaced repetition, uh, like Anki. Doesn't have to be the same. I don't think Anki even came up with the uh, algorithm. Oops, I might have given it too small a length. Not sure if it's going to work. Uh, let's see. OK, I think I have to change two things. One, I'm going to increase the length because that was way too small. And then I'm going to give it a bit of details here. So um, we don't want a function that does space repetition, but that handles, uh, I, how do we say this, good, uh, correct, incorrect choices for spaced repetition. OK, let's try this. Let's see what happens. So the reason why I'm doing this here and not within here is because uh, by default, BotPress will, uh, it will try to use your, it, it knows what variables you have. It knows what tables you have. It knows if you've been naughty or good. Um, but it tries to constrain itself to all of these things. Uh, and what I what I want to see right now is like, if I don't give you constraints, what is the right algorithm? Uh, just to make sure that it, it works properly. Um, OK, so let's see here. So we have, uh, OK, we have correct answer and incorrect. OK, and it gives an interval. This is probably number of days. Uh, let's see, where is new interval used? The ease factor is going to... Okay, yeah, here. So we have the date plus the new interval. So new interval is a date. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in here that is missing. Um, so we have the next review date. That's the hide until. Uh, we have... Do we have the ease factor? Where's the ease factor? Is the ease factor retrieved or generated? It looks like it's generated. And actually, no, it looks like it's coming from the card. And there's also repetitions here. Uh, All right, let's try this. So we'd have repetitions, which is a number. And whoops, OK, if you ever have this problem, uh, scroll or zoom out. Uh, not scroll, but like resize your window. Uh, I said repetitions and something else, uh, new ease factor. So ease factor, let's try this. If I don't need it, I'll just remove it. Um, this is also a number, I believe. So repetition is factor. OK, anything else that we need? Uh, new interval is just something that's going to be assigned to the current interval. Uh, OK, 
Okay, the new ease factor is going to be assigned as well. Okay, I see. And am I missing anything? I don't think so. Okay, so now let's try it out in BotPress. So I'm going to go back to quiz single concept. Uh, in execute code here, what am I going to type? Uh, should I just try, try typing this? Or copying and pasting it? Let's see what happens. I don't know if we're using GPT-4 for this, so the result might not be as good, but uh, let's see. Handle spaced repetition. Okay. Uh, we don't actually want to just have a function, right? We want to... Oh, no, there you go. Is correct. Uh, no, that's not right. Um, so in our case, we, we don't need it to... We don't need to tell it to generate. So handle correct and correct choices for space repetitions. Uh, all right, let's try this. I see Essa Sogul said, hello, please fix the AI transition. Uh, I've been having some issues with it as well, uh, and I'm not quite sure why. Uh, so I just recommend you use AI tasks until then. Uh, it fixes like 90% of my issues. I I understand the AI transition seems more, um, how do I say this, convenient, uh, but the AI task just works. So I, I would just use that for the moment. Um, okay, so, all right. Is that the name of our table? <laughs> nope, but it might still work. We just might just have to edit it. So uh, back to where I was here. Sorry for the jumping around. Okay, uh, if it's correct. Okay, see here, we don't need a transition maybe if all of this works. Okay, calculate the next review date based on the user's answer. Next review date. If it's correct, uh, the interval should be number of days is repetitions. This does not seem right, plus the interval. OK, so if it's, in, oh, if it's correct, it doesn't adjust the ease factor. And if it's incorrect, It changes the ease factor. OK, I think here we probably need to prompt it a little bit more. So let's tell it about ease factors. Uh, use the, what was it called? Hide until uh, here, sorry. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to copy this. Duplicates. Go to concepts table like this. There you go. Okay, so hide. Use the hide until uh, repetition and ease factor. Rows, columns of concepts table. All right, let's try that. Okay, so now we have a function. Uh, we await and run this function. Okay, that's fine. So Okay, so the first thing we do is we get the record. Uh, we get it from the concept ID, which is fine. Okay, so it, it does. It didn't know that we had it right here. Uh, where was it? The concept here, but that's fine. Uh, calculate the next repetition date based on the current repetition and ease factor. Um, okay, so the interval. Okay, keeps thinking the interval is the number of repetitions. And the next repetition is the height until plus the interval. Well, this makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, does this make a lot of sense? Let's see. The number of times. So every time you repeat, you would add one day. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit odd. So <laughs> that's what's happening. So this is, uh, this algorithm seems okay. It's just the repetitions variable seems a bit odd uh, because uh, you multiply. So you're going to get some weird numbers for this. It's not just going to be round numbers. Um, just the naming of the variables is a little bit odd. Is correct, is correct. Update records. Um, Okay, so if it's correct, the ease factor goes up, the height until becomes next repetition dot to iso, so a time uh, height until plus, okay, all right, I see. Okay, I think we should be good to go. Let's try it out. Um, I'm going to close this. I'm going to move this here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this or not. Uh, I'm pretty confident it's going to work. Uh, but will we still want these? We should let them know that they've been wrong. So I'm going to undo like this. I'm going to move this here. Um, yeah, because we, we should still tell them if it worked or not. And let's just test it out real quick. So uh, you got that right. And here you got that wrong. OK, so I'm going to type hi. I'm going to try it out. Uh, so the correct answer is Blanco. I'm going to try this first. Let's see. Okay, you got that right. Um, well, there's no errors, so that's great. Uh, and we got it right. Uh, let's see in the concepts table here. I'm going to refresh. Uh, okay, that did not work. So this and this was updated, but this was not for some reason. So I'll have to fix that. Uh, now let's go back and try something else. Uh, I think, do I have to change it? No, because hide until it's there. Okay. So I'm going to close this. Hi. I'm going to try Rojo. Okay, I got that wrong. Uh, I'm going to hit refresh. Okay. So the wrong, okay, so it's, it's deciding to show it to me tomorrow. Uh, repetition one seems to make sense. Uh, ease factor, I'm not quite sure what that does. Uh, okay, so we need to fix it. How do we fix this? Uh, let's see if it's correct. I mean, our main problem here was that hide until was not being modified. Uh, let's see how it does it here. So when it's incorrect, this was the time where it was modifying it correctly. Uh, I'm going to click this here and we're going to stop like trying to run this via generate code because um, we can fix these manually. Okay, so when something is wrong, typically from my experience, you show it again. Um, just put it at the bottom of the stack. So maybe zero for the moment. Let's try that. Uh, the only risk here is that we show it again over and over until <laughs> they get it right, which is kind of boring. Uh, but we can fix that later. Um, how about instead of plus one day, we put, is it minutes? Let's add one minute instead uh, so that it would be shown after the other ones. Uh, and then if it succeeds here, let's see what we can do. Next repetition. So next repetition is only being used here. And 
record it's doing record dot height until uh, is this the problem uh, from ISO this requires a string and this is null so I think this might be the problem here plus interval of and the interval should be duration from so if this is zero is this zero by default let's go back it's null I'm not sure how it treats null so I'm gonna log stuff just uh, console.log uh, interval and console.log next repetition okay I'm gonna try it again uh, I think I need to yeah I need to hide this so to hide it just delete everything press enter or save I'm gonna reset this too Okay. Oh, no, actually, no. I want this to be null. Uh, oh, how do we make this null? Maybe I can type null. I don't want to delete the record. Is F on the line? No, he's not. What a pity. Um, Okay, this has to be nullable somehow, but I forgot how to do it. Okay, I'm just gonna kill it. Uh, but if I kill it, ah, that's fine. Delete one record. Okay. Just gonna make this blank one instead. Okay. All right, so hi. Uh, what is the Spanish word for white? Actually, wait, before I do this. Uh, I, I made the changes here. I'm not sure what will happen if I do that. I don't know if it syncs immediately. Uh, what is the Spanish word for white? Uh, we want to try the correct first. I'm pretty sure we fixed the incorrect. So the correct, if we go to logs. Uh, as a developer, this is... A lot of the grunt work that you do when working with bots is just fixing bugs. It's not really bot related. Um, okay, so I have my two values here. Next repetition. Uh, interval. Okay, so what did I log exactly? I logged this. It's not outputting. Okay, so this is a duration class, and this can add this. Okay, but we can't really know what it is easily, and this is not from ISO for sure. Uh, okay. I'm just going to add something real quick. Maybe it will fix it. So if it exists, if it's not null, I'm going to set it to itself. Otherwise, I'm going to set it to uh, to ISO string, to locale string. Ah, there it is, like this. Uh, is this going to work? It's not going to like this. Uh, it's not liking this. Uh, actually, let me just try this in the browser. Copy. Console. I'm going to clear this. Uh, it's not liking my... Oh, what did I do? Okay, so I had an extra thing. That was the problem. 
Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, might not be liking this. Trying to get rid of the error. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to try it. Maybe it's going to work. I'm going to go back to concept stable. Oh. Bad reflex. Here. I'm going to refresh. The one record. Blanco. And again, let's see. Uh, we need to get it right. So Blanco, you got that right. Okie dokie. So there are no errors. That's nice. Let's go here, see what happened here. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got a date. Repetition zero, ease factor, okay. So this is clearly, this algorithm is not working. Uh, I'm gonna close, but at least at least we got it to work a little bit. Um, you know what? Control A, Control C. Gonna kill this. Tell me what's wrong with this spaced repetition function. Uh, let's go. <laughs> it's not clearly defined. All right, that's not a problem. Let me be more specific. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Uh, the the success, the correct uh, hide until is not uh, moving forward exponentially as I expect it to. Okay, are we not increasing the repetitions? Uh, let's see, repetition. If it's correct, repetitions times the ease factor. The ease factor being zero. Uh, there's a little problem here. We don't have starting ease factors. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is part of the problem here. We don't have default values. If I go here, update uh, column, we don't have default values and when we import it, we don't start off with anything. Uh, so, let me just set this to null for the moment. Or, delete enter, ease factor one, uh, okay, I'm going to try this again. Okay, I'm going to go back here, refresh. Okay, so it should show it later. The interval which is zero so it's it's basically okay 
I think what we should do here is add plus one. Uh, let's do plus one like this. Show it to me tomorrow at the very least, just so we can get moving. Um, all right, so I'll go back here. Uh, let me just refresh. Control A, delete, enter. And let's try it again. Hi. Okay, so we got it right. Okay. Oh, and then nothing happens because we don't have a loop. Uh, there are three concepts right now. Why is it showing it to us? Uh, okay, yay. Okay, so this is back to a bot problem. Uh, hide until tomorrow, but it's showing today. This has nothing to do with this. Uh, okay, so yesterday, or rather last week, we didn't do our testing properly. Because this should not have happened. Or maybe it's cached? Let me try this again. Uh, let's see the concept. Blanco, okay. All right. Uh, I mean, our algorithm, we can always come back to it and fix it. But right now, I think it should be good enough. Uh, the problem is a bot problem. Again, uh, let's see. How do we figure this out? Uh, let's go back to where we fetched it, which was, I believe, main. Find records, right? Uh, so everything that has hide until on or after this date or hide until is set to null. Okay, so I'm going to do this, type high. And then let's see. I'm going to open this. Click high and the find records information is not found here. It's actually like this. It's in the log somewhere. Let me try to find it. Oh, did I click the right thing? Ah, here it is. Okay. Uh, okay, so query or. So either C2 is null or greater than, greater than or equal. Greater than or equal. Should it have been after? Uh, before? Did we get this wrong last week? If the hide until is after today's date, then we don't want to see it. So this was wrong. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so now I'm going to hopefully get this right. Red day. Okay, and then if I say hi again, there's one concept, it should be the final one. Yellow, which is Azul. No, <laughs> it's not. Uh, did I get that wrong? Ah, okay, so it moved it to one minute later. Uh, which is fine. Like you don't want to re-ask the same question immediately. Um, oh, now it's making up something. Okay, so we didn't handle the edge case where <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Uh, what does the timestamp function do? Let me just show you what happened here. So if I go back to here, uh, so the concept has zero keys, but we didn't check for this possibility. So we have our AI task which says test a user on a Spanish vocabulary. And then we have vocabulary like this and timestamp, and there's just nothing here. So 
I think what happened was it thought that the vocabulary, since there's nothing here, was the timestamp in Spanish. Uh, or in, in other words, let me show it. Uh, in event debugger AI task here. Uh, vocabulary is timestamp. <laughs> I did not know that was a Spanish word. Um, so anyways, we're being tested on this, uh, which is absolutely bonkers. Makes no sense. Um, this flow should never happen if there is no, if there's no do concepts. So we should have definitely a filter here, which says uh, if there are, and then what do we have called do concepts, right? Let's try this. Okay. So only if there are, let's do this. And then if there aren't, let's do, uh, let's say what's like all done, all done for now. Uh, you can try again later. Like this. Okay. So let's try typing hi. Okay, that's good. Uh, now let's go back to our table here. I want to, oh, actually, I want to refresh. I'll put everything to today. And, huh, this should have worked. Uh, also, there's no, there's no time here. This is a date. Uh, this is Let's see. Okay, so we have another problem. Let's fix that. It's also probably due to this. Let's go in logs. Uh, today's date is this. Okay. And let's see. All right, less than or equal to 2023, 10.05, or it's null. Uh, let's see. Did I find another product bug? 2023, 10.05. Could it be due to a string error? Uh, what variable type is this? This is a string. Should we try putting it as a date? And how do we set it? I try doing it like this. Uh, okay, let's try it again. Let's see if that was it. Sometimes it's a type issue. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, less than or equal to October 5th, 2023. Or do concepts is zero. Let me try something to see if I can get it unstuck. Let's say yesterday. Let's try that. Oh. Actually, I don't want to try it here. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Hi. Okay, there's one concept. So it's struggling with the equal for some reason. Okay, it's struggling with the equal for some reason. I'm not sure. I think this is just a bug. Uh, can we get around this bug? We can probably just subtract a day. Uh, that's kind of silly. What if we try equal to and we add it? Uh, let's try on this date. Let's try this first.
it's an or statement. Uh, could it be there's a problem here? I should probably save this. Uh, we do that. Change this back to a string. Okay, as far as I can tell, this is a bug. Uh, I don't know if anybody in the chat can see the issue. I think it's just a bug. So today's date. Query C2 is equal to 2023105. You know what? Let me try something else. Let me try making this a string. Twenty twenty three ten five. It might have to do with dates and equality, dates being objects. Uh, although filtering by date, filtering by date uh, and using equality does not seem like a great idea. Uh, let's see how it behaves. So now everything is a string. Uh, I'm going to try it again. OK, but is it right because it's right or? Let's see if that works. Uh, refresh. Okay, so now it's it's not this date because it's looking for equality. Okay, let me try this. Uh, then here. I don't know, it was not after us before. Okay, now it says there are three concepts. Uh, did I not, oh, I didn't hit save, okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, there are three concepts. Uh, I think there's a bug, so I'll have to file that bug report. Uh, and I think we're going to be up on time today. I'd like to get this issue resolved. Uh, also, uh, perhaps get the algorithm ready. So next time we can wrap the bot, the bot up. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for being on the stream today. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.